Welcome to SCM Solution Tutorial Series ClearQuest Administration Part 1 Creating a Master Schema Repository and User Database This task contains four individual tasks One, by opening a ClearQuest maintenance tool we will create a Master Schema Repository We create a Test User Database and Export Connection pro Profile to access this database. Also, we will test the database connectivity through using the ClearQuest client. So, let's get to work. For the simplicity, I have put a shortcuts of ClearQuest maintenance tools on my desktop. By opening the ClearQuest maintenance tool, we could create a new schema repository. Going to schema repository, create, give the connections a name, SCMS. Then the next thing is the choice of the databases. ClearQuest provides four databases in the box. Microsoft Access is ideal for proof of concept or a very small groups. DB2 and Oracle are enterprise databases for enterprise application, a large size uh, company most tend to use these two databases. SQL Server for a small to medium large company could use that. Let's choose the Microsoft Access. Let's give our physical database name. We're going to place them in the predefined directory. I have a directory called CQ Database. I will call my master CQ. CQ master touche. Next, the next important thing is the code page. <clears throat> the most versatile code page is a UTF code page. Next to it is Microsoft um, Windows Latin One is the most commonly used code page for designing a local database. Let's select that. You click Next. At this point, if our goal was only to create a master schema repository, we could have clicked off Create a Sample Database and finish the process. But for the sake of these examples, let's go ahead and create a sample database. We are going to use a defect tracking and we're going to call our database SCMS1. A description database. Click next. Now we have to select a database for our user database. Again, we have the same selections of the databases as a vendor. And you have noticed we could have our master schema repository on one type of the database and our user database on a different. For the simplicity, let's go ahead and create it on Microsoft Access again. You're going to call our user database user SCMS1. Click Finish. It reminds us we have to share this drive if we want the other user to see it. We comply by yes. And ClearQuest go ahead and creates all of the data code support for our database. It links all of the packages needed for creating this database and sets up all the directory structure. Once it finished setting up the schema, it prompts us with done creating master and sample database of connection SCMS. At this point, we're done with creating a user database. Next thing is to export the profile. So we go file, export profile, the SCMS is already selected. 
and we have a choice of the place where we want to put it. We could put it in the same database directory. We could call it SCMS CQ profile to remember what database we're exporting. And finish. At this point, we're done with creating our master schema repository, user database, and exporting the profile. So what we're going to do next is opening ClearQuest client to make sure we do have access to this database. Let's exit from maintenance tools, open a ClearQuest client. It will prompt us for username. The default username is admin with no password the first things we have to do as the admin is to go and lock down the system with providing a password for it. Then we could select the database here, click OK. And we should see the clear quest. We could, since this is a sample database, we do have a series of the defect pre-fields already for us. So. At this point, we know our ClearQuest master schema repository configured correctly, our user database configured correctly, and our client can access. So in the next series of the tutorial, we will cover how to modify and customize ClearQuest schema to do specific functionality we need to do. To access the archive of the tutorial from SCM Solution, please go to our website, scmsolution.com, and click on Videos. If you do have specific questions or recommendation, please do contact us by clicking on the contact and fill the appropriate informations. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.